Welcome to Connecting the Dots, our smart account and smart license learning series. Today we will cover an overview of Cisco Smart Software Licensing, including the difference between traditional and smart licenses, the benefits, and how to access and manage smart licenses. So what's a smart license? Cisco Smart Software Licensing is a major change in the way software licenses are managed across all Cisco product families. Smart licensing is not a traditional licensing system. Instead, it is similar to a software asset management system that seeks to answer two primary questions for the customer or partner. First, what is it that I have purchased? And second, what is it that I am using? By providing a useful and concise answer to these questions, Cisco customers and partners can make more informed decisions about their investments with Cisco. Smart licenses, when compared to traditional licenses, provide a simpler and much more flexible way for customers and partners to purchase, activate, and manage their licenses across their Cisco portfolio. First, with traditional licenses, customers have a limited view of the licenses they own, whereas with smart licenses, customers and partners have a complete view of all their licenses and devices. To view your licenses, you will go to software.cisco.com. Second, Traditional licenses require manual registration through product activation keys or PACs where users have to go to a website and register each license for each product individually. Smart licenses don't require PACs and once they are assigned to a smart account, the products self-register allowing for easy activation. Third, traditional licenses are also device specific, meaning you can only register one license to one device. Smart licenses are much more flexible. Since licenses are pooled, they can easily move around to different devices as you process RMAs or decide to redeploy licenses to a different device. And finally, traditional licenses only give you access to the licenses you have paid for. Smart licenses allow for customers to burst and go temporarily into an overuse situation, allowing licensing issues to be resolved later. To access your smart licenses, you need to first set up a smart account. After your smart account is set up, you can take actions in any of the portals that support smart licensing to manage these licenses. CSSM, or Cisco Smart Software Manager, is one of the portals that we will refer to throughout this video. You must log into software.cisco.com to set up a smart account or to access your smart licenses. Watch our smart account overview video to understand Cisco smart accounts. The link can be found in the description of this video. Let's walk you through the typical software license management cycle to understand how to manage your smart licenses. First, when you purchase a smart license in Cisco Commerce Workspace, you need to assign it to a customer smart account. If the customer smart account for the order is not known, the license must be assigned to a partner holding account until the customer smart account is determined. Next, log into software.cisco.com and access Cisco Smart Software Manager or CSSM. CSSM will show all the smart licenses that you ordered and assigned to your customer smart account. Once you have viewed the license pool, you can register a device. In CSSM, you can generate a token for the device, which you will use to register the device. To configure the devices using smart license, refer to the product specific configuration guides at cisco.com slash go slash smart licensing. After these steps are complete, you are ready to consume the license on the registered device. Remember, because of the concept of license pooling, a single token can be used to register as many devices as required. There are different communication options for different security postures. The primary communication method is direct cloud access. This is the default mode in which the Cisco product sends usage information directly over the internet or through an HTTP proxy server. The other options are satellite and license reservation. Now that you understand smart licenses, let's walk through the steps on how to manage smart licenses in Cisco Smart Software Manager. Go to software.cisco.com and click the Smart Software Licensing link. You will see tabs across the top of the page related to the smart licenses assigned to your customer smart account. The Alerts tab, which is the default tab on the page, will show alerts related to your license consumption. Minor alerts do not require any action, whereas major alerts will require a specific action. The Inventory tab will show you the licenses that you currently own and what virtual accounts those licenses are assigned to. You can toggle between virtual accounts by selecting them from the drop-down menu. The Convert to Smart Licensing tab is where you will convert licenses including converting packs and classic licenses to smart licenses. This tab also captures your license conversion history and preferred conversion settings. You can generate custom reports in the Reports tab to capture a quick snapshot of all smart licenses in the smart account. 
The Preference tab captures your smart license configuration preferences and lets you customize the type of notifications you can receive regarding your smart license consumption. If you are using a smart software manager satellite, this tab allows you to manage your satellite. And finally, the Activity tab keeps track of all the activity that has happened chronologically within your smart account. To get a more detailed explanation of each of these tabs, please refer to the links in the video description for additional information. If you are looking for additional resources, check out the Cisco Smart Software Licensing page and Sales Connect for more information. Thank you for watching this video as we covered a high-level overview of Cisco Smart Software Licensing.